Welcome back, everybody, to the Seattle Sonics, my NBA franchise here on NBA 2K22. We got the final step of the offseason today, and it's been an exciting one so far. Of course, in a draft, we had the number one pick with Buzz Wigginton Jr., along with adding Oscar J. Basilin and Jim Arnold. We had a big free agency as well, signing Lonnie Walker, Marvin Bagley, and Jordan Nawara, and making a couple trades as well, sending Cameron Payne to the Grizzlies and Xavier Tillman to the Timberwolves for some draft picks. So overall, it has been a good offseason for us and a pretty wild offseason around the NBA. The Pacers have pretty much sold the farm with Malcolm Brogdon and Karis LeVert on the move for younger players. Of course, for Bradley Beal signing trade to the Dallas Mavericks. And then looking back during draft day, we had a couple big deals, including Sabonis to San Antonio and the three-team deal that sent Damian Lillard to New Orleans and then Brandon Ingram to the Trailblazers. So now we're sort of at that stage in the offseason where we're finishing some things off, but I do want to have an episode going over Summer League. I asked you guys at the end of the last one, would you rather us just jump right to the regular season or go into Summer League? And it seemed like the majority of the people wanted to see some Summer League, so that's what we are going to provide today. This is what the Summer League roster looks like. You may be able to tell there's not a lot of size. Outside of Buzz, we don't have any bigs on our roster, and we do need to add four more players in the free agency pool to the team. I could add all the highest rated players, but I don't really feel like that's fully fair, so I decided to dig a little bit deeper. We're going to start with Bull Bull, who obviously played for our Sonics last year. I still want to bring him back, we just haven't been able to. And then I wanted to go after a few undrafted rookies. This is Luke Foreman out of Rutgers. He's more of a low post, traditional big man. Speaking of low post bigs, how about the 7'5", Taco Fall, and then another undrafted rookie in Braden Leroy. He's a good shooter out of Kansas State. Even though he played for Wildcats, I do think he can be a pretty good player for us. We have three regular season summer league games. Our first one is against the Miami Heat, then we play Orlando, and then Sacramento, and then we get into the big playoff tournament. I think we're going to go right into the postseason, but before that, I did want to change for rotations, but the thing literally did not let me, so I don't know why that's the case. It says our staff isn't filled, but we can't literally touch our staff right now, so 2K being dumb per usual, but we're going to simcast the three regular season games, starting off with this one against the Miami Heat. And we pretty much blew them out of the water for the most part, finishing off with a 32-point victory. Buzz Wigington in his Sonics debut at 22-8-5. Oscar had 19, 17 for Desunmu. Really well-rounded team effort. For Miami, Johannes Kaliba had 24. Remember, we almost drafted him over Oscar J. Basilin. So it's good to see both Oscar and Kaliba both doing quite well. Now into the Orlando game, the Magic start off strong, but then we powered through in the second half, get a nice six-point victory, 115-109, despite a double-double from the number two overall pick, Diami Christensen. Oscar is the leading scorer with 18, 16 for Nuwara and Bull, 14 for Arnold, 12-8 and eight for Buzz on only nine shots, so it's not like he was inefficient. And now on to the final game against the Kings, back and forth throughout the first half, but we would not look back in half number two, and we ended up winning the game by 26 points. 36 for Oscar, hello! 23 for Buzz as well. So I think it's fair to say Buzz and Oscar have been our two best players through the three regular season games, particularly Oscar. So we went 3-0. We are the second seed entering the playoffs, so that's pretty cool. I do want to take a look at the stats for the team through the three games. I've got to say, it's weird looking at the Sonics at the top. Tied for the best record, number one point differential, second in points per game, and then points allowed, we were in the top 10 as well. So overall, a really, really strong team. Oscar J. Basilin led the way 24.3 points along with 6.3 boards. He was ridiculously good on great efficiency. 19-7 for Buzz, Nawara, Desunmu, and Arnold also in the double figures as well. Outside of RJ Hampton, there's not really anybody I was disappointed with for the most part. So let's take a quick look at the league leaders. The only scorers ahead of Oscar are Emmanuel Quickly and Jayon Azkaban, the fourth overall pick out of the G League Ignite. Still a lot of somewhat big-name players in here. Guys like Anthony Edwards, Kate Cunningham, Sadiq Bey. Guys who I'm a little bit surprised are still in the Summer League, obviously, here at the top, right with our guys like Buzz and Oscar. So we're going to do some player locking to start things off. We're going to player lock with Buzz first here against Sacramento, get our first look at him in a Sonics jersey. 
As Seattle's opening offensive possession, Buzz Wickington gets the mid-range shot. Keep in mind, this is the playoffs. It's one and done, so if you lose, you're out. Buzz with the one-handed, powerful slam, and so far, so good here for the Sonics. As RJ Hampton now has it, Wigington cutting inside. Tough shot will fall. Buzz Wigington with six early points. We don't want to force feed him, but if he's hot, just keep shooting the rock. Davion Mitchell inside for Ely. I think it's fair to say Buzz Wigington Jr. kind of got cooked on that play. He's a phenomenal defender, but he's 19 years old. He's going to make some mistakes. Nice screen for Io, who hits the pull-up jumper. That play's not going to go in the box score for Buzz, but still a productive offensive play. Halliburton at the rim. They call that a foul. That looks like all ball. Come on, refs. I disagree with that one. We're in the second quarter, by the way, if you haven't been able to tell. It's 23-29. As Buzz stands right in front of Tyrese Halliburton, gives the shooter plenty of room to sink the shot. Buzz with a great pass. It's an and one slam for Jordan. Nawara and the Sonics are really playing good here. I guess in the team's first ever playoff game, even though it's Summer League, it is still a playoff game, I guess. Buzz Wigington hits the shot over his fellow top 10 pick, Isaki McDaniels, wearing number 43 out of Hawaii. McDaniels at the rim with the reverse dunk. Not a great defensive play there by Buzz, but again, he's going to make some mistakes. Hampton inside, no good. Buzz with the offensive rebound, put attempt is blocked by McDaniels. Buzz gets it back. He gets it back again. He had three shots of a rim there and missed a wall. So I guess Buzz pads his rebounding, but I don't know how he didn't get any of those in. Wigington fade away on McDaniels. Nice shot for Buzz Wigington Jr. He now is 10 and 5 here in the first half with about four minutes to go. I'm doing eight minute quarters if you haven't been able to tell for Summer League. I usually do nine in the regular season. As Buzz makes another tough shot now at 12. Here's Green at the rim tonight. Buzz Wickington Jr. grabs it out of midair. That block was filthy. That brings us to the end of the first half. 53 to 34, a dominant start to this game for the Seattle Sonics, led by a strong showing on both ends of the floor by Buzz Wickington. Going to start the second half with a splash. Buzz Wickington Jr. hits the three. He can shoot the rock. He can space the floor quite nicely. And another ridiculous block that time on Davion Mitchell. 40 to 58. Hampton inside for Buzz. He's blocked at the rim by McDaniels. Gets it back, however. Nice putback for Buzz Wigginton, who has 17 and 7. Sonics up by 17. Nuara has it inside for Buzz. Nice layup. He does a great job of darting by McDaniels for the play. Sonic still with a comfortable lead. McDaniels blocked at the rim. I think they're going to keep that one to Buzz, who has three blocks today. 84-98, under a minute to go now. Buzz did not play a whole lot in the fourth quarter, but it appears the team has been able to maintain this lead as he gets another layup now at 21. Wigington intercepts that pass. Sonic's on the fast break. Cross-court pass for Hampton. Going to try to go for the step back. He gets the shot. Wigington credited with the assist. And Buzz is going to dribble off the clock. That's how this game ends. The Sonics win their first postseason game in team history. Is it a summer league playoff game? Yes, but it is still a playoff game. Good performance from Buzz, who is fired up with his teammates as he finished with a team high 21 points, 8 boards, 2 assists, and 3 blocks on 10 of 21 shooting. Only 1 for 5 from 3, but inside he was very efficient. So now we got the Minnesota game. I wanted to... Do some more player locking with different players. So today we're going to player lock with the other first round pick, Oscar Jaba Seelan, who had a quiet first playoff game against Sacramento, but has been ridiculous in the regular season for the Summer League as he gets the short shot to go in. Failed lob for the rookie Storm. Here comes the Sonics on the fast break. Jaba Seelan hits the layup. He has four within the first minute of this game. Now six to nothing. Tough three rolls out. Tipped into the hands of Oscar Jaba Seelan. Who gets the rebound? Sonic's on the fast break. It's ball, ball. Gotta let it fly. Within two minutes of this game, Oscar already has four points, a rebound, and an assist. He's a six foot four combo guard who has six ten wingspan. So he's gonna be a ridiculous defender. Maybe not on that play with Pritchard hitting the three. Jay Basilan in the corner. Triple for the Sonics. I believe that was Jaded Springer who hit the shot. Jay Basilan rips it away from Peyton Pritchard. Here comes the Sonics on the fast break. Nawara to Oscar. And what a dunk by Oscar Jay Basilan putting that man on a poster. 
Oh my goodness! Oscar J. Basilin can get up there! A ridiculous slam dunk. By the way, Minnesota, remember, has Xavier Tillman, the former Sonic, who is in the game. Peyton Pritchard with the basketball, lobs it up, and Minnesota gets a dunk of their own. That's Anthony Edwards. Not really sure why he's still playing in the Summer League, but oh well. Buzz Wigginson, no good. Oscar with the rebound. And the guard is going to get the putback to fall in. He is 8-2-2 two two here in the first quarter as he steals another one away from Pritchard. Fast break opportunity. Oscar off the glass, and he hits the layup. That would have been cooler if it was a dunk, but whatever. The score is 13-20. to 20. Oscar trying to get a last-second shot before the quarter ends. His layup will not be good. But a really strong first quarter for Oscar Javis Seelin. Ten points, two rebounds, two assists, two steals as we go in the second. 32-43 with two minutes to go in the quarter. Oscar was on the bench for most of the second. And right as he enters, he hits a three. Nice shot for Javis Seelin as it's now a 14-point Seattle lead. Edwards on the wing. Really nice pass. Good slam. I think that was the guy that Oscar posted earlier in the game. Under a minute to go now in the half. Javis Seelin off the dribble. Pull up. Lawn mid-ranger. That looks like a play a veteran would make. Oscar's only, what, 18 years old? One of the youngest players in this year's draft. And then right off the inbound, he steals the pass. Into the corner for RJ Hampton with the J. And the Seattle Sonics lead by 17. Final moment to the first half. Another three. That one by Jordan Nawara. An unbelievable performance here in the first half by the Sonics. They lead by 20. Oscar with 15 and 5. But that's not even the most remarkable stat line. RJ Hampton has 17 points on three field goal attempts. I know he's went to the line nine times, but has anyone ever gotten 17 points on three field goal attempts? I don't know. Jay Basilin gets a steal immediately to start the quarter. Passes it inside for the number one pick out of the University of Michigan, Buzz Wigington Jr., who gets the layup. Oscar off the inbound, trying to dribble by Pritchard, and he's going to do it with ease. Catching another body! The Pac-12 Freshman of the Year at UCLA has continued his dominance here in the second half. He now has 17 and 6. Step back, 3, nothing but net. I've only played with Oscar for a very short time, but I feel like I've had way too much fun using him. Javis Seelan, step back mid-ranger. He sinks it. We're now in the fourth quarter, by the way. Seattle maintaining that 20-point lead. It's been an uneventful second half for the most part. But Oscar's trying to get that double-double as he gets it to Ayo Dusunmu, who hits the three. 85-108. Oscar steals it off the inbound. He's going to lob it up for Brown! With the throw down. Nice dunk by Greg Brown. He's now one assist away from a double-double. But Javis Seelan's wide open. Sometimes you have to take the open shots as he hits the triple. 25 now for Oscar Javis Seelan as he steals another ball. He has made Ashton Haggins cold pretty much on his own defensively. Gets another slam. Make that 27 for Oscar. Now double teamed. But look who's wide open in the corner. It's B.J. Boston. Catch and shoot. Three ball. Double-double for Oscar J. Basile, and he has 27, 10, and 7 steals. Sonics win it by 33, and as I said earlier, I had way too much fun playing with Oscar. He's going to be an absolute cheat code in the NBA, let me tell you. This guy can score driving a basket off the dribble, he can play make, and 7 steals. That should do all the talking, but his numbers were not the craziest. Jim Arnold scored 20 points in 5 minutes. I don't think that's right. I think all of these minutes are completely glitched because it says nobody had more than 11. But still, if that's true, goddamn, that's unbelievable. RJ Hampton did not take a shot in the second half, so there you go. 17 points on three field goal attempts. Unreal. Now on to the round of eight. We're going to play our lock with Jim Arnold, the second round pick. Since he is not starting... We will not start this game. We're going to hop in off the bench. Hopefully the team does well early. And, well, we're not winning. 23-20. to 20. Arnold's first moments of the game is going to be a bucket as he drives by Lewis King to get in the layup. Arnold was the first pick in the second round. Another combo guard hailing from Canada. Look at that defensive play. I think Arnold tipped it away from the big man whose pass went out of bounds. Good defense. Not as good of a defender as Oscar, but he can hold his own on defense. Maybe not on this play. Caught sleeping, and it's James Booknight, one of the best scorers in the Summer League, who hits the layup. Booknight steals it away from Buzz on the fast break. 
Book Knight with the spin move, but no good. Great defense inside by Jim Arnold. Arnold on the other end, trying to drive by Book Knight inside for Bull Bull. That's going to be an assist for Jim Arnold, who hasn't put up the eye-popping numbers that Oscar and Buzz have today. But he's doing a lot of the little things well. Buzz steals it. Sonic's on the fast break. Jordan Nawara off the dribble, hits the mid-ranger to tie it at 41. And that would pretty much bring us to the end of the first half, 59-54. I've got to say, it seems like the Sonics have done better in this game when Jim Arnold is on the floor. We'll see if that holds to form in the second half as it remains a five-point game when Arnold checks in, 66-61. And Arnold immediately gets the layup, his second bucket of the game. And it's now 66-63. Very next Sonics possession. Again, Arnold with Vernon Carey on top of him. Hits another layup, but it's still a five-point game. As Blake gets it in the corner, wide open three. And the Sonics are struggling a little bit. Romeo Langford hits the three. So now that's it, it's an eight-point game. Not a ton of time left in the third. I decided to take the player lock off of Arnold because A, the team needs help. And B, if this is it, I want to be able to get to use the whole team. I was planning on using the entire team later in the summer league, but we might not get that chance if we keep playing defense like that. As the Hornets made a 12-point game, nice three-pointer from Jalen LeQuay. There's Luke Foreman, the undrafted rookie out of Rutgers. Maybe with a strong summer league performance, the Sonics will keep him in the pipeline, maybe on the G League roster. B.J. Boston hits a tough layup. It's now 81-69. Nice. Foreman has it in the corner over to Jaden Sprenger, who's been a little bit disappointing this summer league, but he does a great job there creating space off of LeQuay. Hitting the three, it's now 83-72. This time it's Oscar trying to drive past the defender in the corner for a wide open Jordan Nawara. Nawara's not had any crazy games in the summer league, but he's been a super consistent double-digit scorer and has really earned some playing time on this roster. Oscar Javisilin hits the three early in the fourth. It's a five-point game. Oscar rips it away from Langford, gets the dunk, and it's now a three-point game. Oscar has more points in the past 10 seconds than he did in the first three quarters of this game. Wild. Langford has it at the top of the key, guarded by Jim Arnold. Lobs it up. Nice slam by the undrafted rookie as it's now a five-point game again. That was Blake Porgan who had the dunk. Blake Porgan at the top of the key, guarded by Oscar. Lobs it up for JT Thor. And Charlotte's done a nice job of maintaining a healthy lead. 92-84 with 440 to go. As here is Vernon Carey, long to the big fella, showing off the stroke. As now it's an 11-point game with four minutes to go. The Sonics have to get it together quickly or else they will be eliminated. Good layup for Oscar. That makes it a single-digit deficit once again. Book Knight, guarded by Hampton. Book Knight with a great move inside. Charlotte maintains that double-digit lead. And... The Hornets appear to pretty much have this one in control. Book Knight with the three. I think that's the icing on the cake. We simcasted the rest and got outscored 13 to nothing in the final three minutes of the game. We were down, I think, 83 to 80 at one point in early in the fourth quarter. Charlotte outscored us 30 to 6 after that. So unfortunately, the Sonics kind of lost some steam there in the fourth quarter. We're officially eliminated in the round of eight, which is unfortunate. Buzz had 15 points, I'm pretty sure all of which came in the first half. 12 for Nuora, 11 for Oscar, and at least we can say we lost to the champion. Charlotte ends up beating Orlando despite a 23-point game from Diami Christensen. James Booknight led the way with 19 for Charlotte. For the All-Star City selection, I don't have a problem with Cleveland. We'll just rock with them. For the draft class, I will be making another custom draft class this year. I haven't started yet, so you can still submit players in the Discord server. We need to clear up a roster spot, so we're going to trade Rodion's Kuruks to the Rockets and swap 2026 second round picks. So now we have 15 players on our roster. Keep in mind, we don't have Bull Bull still, so we're going to have to clear up another roster spot before the season starts, which I guess we'll do at the beginning of the next episode, because I do want to ensure we bring back Bull Bull. We need our backup center, because we don't currently have one on the team. So that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. Next time, we're going to start the regular season opening night against the Clippers, probably the home opener as well, which I'm pretty sure I want to say is against the Spurs. Make sure to let me know your expectations for this upcoming season down below in the comments. Peace out.